Welcome all sports fans, YouTubers, Facebookers, all social media across the nation. This is an Educated Sports Talk. Also, check us out on Educated Network, both shows on YouTube. Got a special guest, my main man, Chris, is in the building. Y'all know him from an Educated Star Wars Talk. Tell me what it is, man. Oh, man. Good to be back. Sorry to my fans. I've been gone for a little while. You know how life works. But I'm back, and we're going to be back in full effect in the next couple of days. But we here to chat with Carlos about some sports talk. Yeah, but before we do that, uh, we got a big surprise for our fans when you're watching this. Uh, early September, we got a new show coming out for you guys, so stay tuned. Me and Chris on there, we'll give you all the details as time goes by, but we'll be ready by September, so be ready for that, guys. So, that being said, uh, topic of the day. Well, first of all, if y'all don't know him, Big he's Falcons fan. Big Falcons big fan. Falcons big fan. Falcons fan. Uh, he's, been, he's been on the show a few times now, talking about the Falcons, and you know. Uh, and I'm the same thing. We all know about that. Last time he was on there, the Falcons beat us on the Thursday night football game. And uh, we're talking about that. And he didn't make it for that next show, though. But uh, uh, it might have been your fault. <laughs> <laughs> probably so, probably so. But with that being said, hey, let's get into it, man. Uh, Julio Jones is in the news. Falcons, they all know about that. He said he's going to hold out as long as he can until he gets paid the big bucks. Um, so we're going to get into it. Original contract, five years, $71 million. He signed that in 2015. And now he wants to kind of get it restructured because we with three know. years left. Yeah, with three years left. <laughs> three years to mention three years left. He's only do with two years of it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Still, yeah. So one fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got years left on it, but obviously it's time for change. He's getting up that age. So yeah, I feel like he after that thirty mark, which is a big number with receivers, uh, they don't really get paid after that because they feel like you old and washed. So he's trying to cash in before he hit that thirty mark. But to me, I love me some Julio Jones. Big part of my Falcon success and everything. Right. But coming off a year where you scored just three num three touchdowns, I don't feel like this is the time for arguing. And I get it. You the best receiver. I feel like you the best receiver in the league. But coming off that year, I don't know. It's hard for me to it's hard for me to pay you all that. You know. Right, right. Maybe right. I could be wrong, but that's that's from a business standpoint, that's what I'm thinking. Well, look here. We all know NFL also stands for not for long. We know that. So the man wants to get paid. Like you say, he's hitting 30. Oh, he's probably 30 already, right? Soon to be. So Soon to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. You know, uh, so he wants to get paid. And get paid right now because anything can happen in life. You want to be, what's that What's that called? Secure? Yeah. Uh, when it's all said and done. You don't want any kind of devastating injury. Because once you hit the 30s, you start thinking about injuries. That's, start, the thing. That's yeah. another thing. You uh, ain't played a full season <laughs> since you got new league. So, you know, all that work is that, right. all, all that coming to my mind when I hear all these big numbers that he wants. Because I think he wants close to that $80 million number. And that's a crazy number. <laughs> well, look, Julio Jones, in, in my opinion, is the best wide receiver in the game. Now, Atlanta's success, in my opinion, has come from Julio Jones causing so much chaos on the field without even getting touchdowns. Every time he's on one side of the field, that side is being looked at heavily. Mm -hmm. It's where you got guys like when, when Gabriel was there, you know, catching 40-something passes a year. And, of course, uh, uh, Sanu getting his catches. Those guys are really good. You get those guys, you know, and I, two, two on one or with a regular base defense, they're not getting as many catches. But Julio Jones makes that big difference, in my opinion. And we do have another guy from Alabama, that Calvin Ridley guy, maybe – can step up to that plate, be that next Julio for us. So I don't know if everything's working for Julio in the, in his argument. And I love Julio. He's a big reason why we've been so good and the reason why we are who we are right now. So I don't want to lose him, but at the same time, like, come on, man. Come on. Coming off a three-year, I mean, a three-touchdown season, I, he played. I, I think he might have missed only one game last season. That was, like, the most impressive uh, length of season, I think he has. But think about it, a, a subpar season. 88 catches, 1,444 yards. And that's subpar. Think about that. I don't. I didn't feel it was a <laughs> subpar. It's just the, the, the scoring in a lot of games. I feel like we could have used him. He dropped some passes. He, like, he I'm, did, I'm not going to say dropping passes is a problem for Julio. It's not, but, but he, he did drop a few he, he crucial dropped passes. A, crucial, a yeah. lot of crucial. Not a lot, but, you know, it was something that – as, as, as a superstar wide receiver, the best in the game, you shouldn't drop those certain passes. That's what it is. And um, I'm a T.O. fan, so 
I, I've seen that. Oh, the butter so, fingers. That yeah. boy was scared to go to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> he was scared to go to the middle. I know that about T.O. He ain't like getting in in that middle. But, all right, so he, he gets $47 million guaranteed a couple years ago, 2015. He's, his base salary for this year is $10.5 million. Just saying that, that kind of makes me like, a, ugh. Because when it comes to the NFL, I'm more on the player side because everyone goes crazy uh, when the player says, I, I want to sit out because I want more money. But everyone thinks it's kind of you know, normal when the owner or the GM you know, fires you, cuts you, trades you. Nobody's you know. looking at it like that, though. From the Falcon standpoint, they okay. they looking at it like, we do this when it's one year left. We're not changing who we are. We get it. You, you're you. We get it. But we are who we are. We do things the way we like. If we, we ah, I don't want to say it. If we start changing up stuff for uh-huh. you, everybody's going to want that same treatment. And I get it. Everybody's not you. Everybody's not. There's, but, there's not too many Julio Jones out there. Right. But we got a left tackle right now that needs to, you know, when Matt Ryan's not able to stand up, gotcha. right? We not, we, uh, who's going to get you the ball? So we need to pay him. We need to pay our free safety because the defense, that can we getting better at that mm-hmm. point. But we need to work on those other things and – us just paying you while you still have three years left on your contract when there's other guys that we need to secure. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just priorities. I'm just thinking this. So you got your base, your base salary for this year is $10.5 million. Probably for the next couple of years, it's probably around that same area. And that's the number that's, that we know. We don't know well, what the side deals are. Yeah, yeah, but there's... there's Maybe I mean, you would have scored more. Maybe you would have helped. Maybe you would have more that's, money. That's true, too. Maybe 100 catches, maybe five, six touchdowns. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. But here's my thing. You're looking at Antonio Brown getting paid $17 million per year. It's signed a four-year, $68 million deal. So with the highest paid wide receiver in the game right now, 17 and with some percentages as well. And he's like, I'm making 10.5, and I'm arguably the best wide receiver in the game. Why arguably. is yeah, arguably yeah yeah some say he is and some say Brown but Brown is yeah, more I, say, I say Brown is nice but Brown's more gimmicky to me the the Steelers know how to get him the ball because he's a lot shiftier yeah. who knows type when you're six six can run a four three forty Catch and can over jump anybody. yeah yeah that that you just can't teach that you can teach yeah. gimmick routes you can teach I don't that. know if you can yeah. teach it yeah. you can teach Brown. you can teach it Antonio Brown because you know. they would have more <laughs> they would have a lot more if we, that's true if we that's just true. teach Antonio but, Brown but I would take a Julio Jones because at the end of the day if you can go go up there and get it go up there and get it now Brown has shown that he can't do the same thing in in crucial moments so you know but it's a different offense different style you know. Uh, Pittsburgh threw the ball a whole lot more. You know, it's funny because Le'Veon Bell led the league in carries. Yeah. Uh, but he was the only one carrying the ball for the Steelers. So they threw the ball a ton. So that being said, I think Julio, I'm all about the man getting his money. If you're good. If you're, I want to get his money too. If you're good. Just not right now. If you're, if you're a Des Bryant type, it's shut up. You know, <laughs> it's shut up. But if, you're, if you are Julio Jones, they are really the best receiver in the game. You should be making more than ten point five million dollars. I don't care how it is, how you broke down everything. You shouldn't make no ten point five million dollars. It was okay when you signed. It. What? Hey, it hey. It was okay when but you signed. But now things have changed. Things have changed. We got guess to what? the Super Bowl. When we you lost. see people making their money, you like it's just it's just natural. Think about it. In any case you're in, whether it be a job, a nine to five job. You know, I was about to say, I was about to relate it to that, no. but I'm like, do I really want to take it down? Because <laughs> no, NFL, NFL it, players are not. Because there's, the a, there's but, a lot more non-NFL players than are NFL right. players. So I, I can't go. I can't not go to Walmart tomorrow morning because I feel like so and so get paid the same amount as me, and I'm worth more. So I thought I was talking about that part because we we'll get fired and they don't exactly. even care. They don't we'll get fired exactly. in heartbeat. But no, I'm just saying, like you can shout out to Walmart. <laughs> but my thing is. You don't want to know that you're better or up to the same part with the same person, but they're just making more money than you. It's just natural feelings of, I should make more money. Now, you got to trust the process. Yeah. Two things can happen. He can sit out and lose a lot of money, or, you know, they can release him, and he goes to the team. Are they really going to release him? I don't I don't know if we about that life. I, don't, I, I think we'll, we'll hit him with some heavy fines if he don't come to training camp, like he says and everything. Uh-huh. But, I'm, I'm not, I didn't think this of Julio, though. I thought Julio was more the quiet guy who hey, everybody hey, want to be about their money and everything, hey, but we, I thought he was the team guy. We all thought the same thing about Kawhi Leonard, and look what happened to him. <laughs> so we right. all thought that. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he ain't quiet no more. That's all that. So uh, 
My thing is, Julio, Julio again, if he if he decides to miss every single practice, it's forty thousand dollars per day. You got money if you really risk that. You got money, so you know your your money good. Forty thousand. No, no, just give it to me, Atlanta. You know, <laughs> me and Chris are splitting. We'll do some real good with that. Who knows? Can miss the whole preseason for all I care. You know, and one more got us. We can be a Julio, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. So, all right. So here's my thing. Everyone knows that I now I, I could be entirely wrong, and this is just my opinion. I think Julio Jones is a bigger factor to Atlanta's success. Than Matt Ryan is. I want to get your input on that because I could. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. He's a huge factor, but I think Matt Ryan is more important. That just maybe because I'm a quarterback type guy. I love my receivers. My favorite player was T.O. growing up and everything. But learning and learning the game and stuff like I have, quarterbacks are more important. They control the flow of the game and everything. They able to make checkdowns and stuff like that. Even though Matt Ryan, in a crucial moment in the Super Bowl, didn't make the audible <laughs> like he should have and just switched to a damn run play so we could have won the Super Bowl. But <laughs> I digress. Go, I digress. Let it go. Let it go. But ultimately, I think the quarterback position is more important. Is Ryan a better quarterback than Julio is a better receiver? No. But are there – Receivers on the market that can fill that gap for uh, for Julio, I think maybe less more so than there is for Matt Ryan at quarterback. There's not too many Matt Ryan's at quarterback in the market right now, and they say this draft year is one of the worst at quarterback. So yeah, <laughs> they're not worried about quarterback they, at all. Yeah, I, they'll be fine because the quarterback's coming to Matt Ryan. Just got he just got extensions. He's, he's there so, for the long yeah. haul. We're not worried about Matt Ryan at all. He's fine, Atlanta. He'll be there forever. Uh, but yeah, Calvin really. I would love to see Julio Jones and Calvin really on different Ouch. sides of the field. It'd be nice. I think Calvin really is not that good, in my opinion. Uh, but, like you know, know, product of the system. The, the, the Bama system. You know, I saw him in the championship game against Georgia, and he dropped a lot of balls. He just, I was like, dude. Yeah, I, I was you like, know, we was just talking about yeah, he's yeah, a Hall yeah. of Bama. But we're we talking about a the championship. The championship. It happens. Don't run it. Uh, shout out to Alabama. They still won. But I'm just saying, <laughs> they, you know, he dropped the was He wasn't all that good. He did score a touchdown in that game, though. He did, but he dropped a few while I was watching. Uh, <laughs> but I'm excited to see this team. At the end of the day, who does going to play? At the, at the end of the day, I mean, so you don't think you know, you think he's going to eventually? He's going to cave in. Someone's going to cave in. But, but the way Atlanta's talking, we talk about the GM, the head coach, and uh, you know Arthur Blank. They're all they're all saying we're not really worried about it. You know? they, they, but I'm like, you no, know, don't eat your words now. I mean, <laughs> show some kind of support. Like we want to get this done because you keep saying we're not worried about it. We're not worried about it. Who little Jones gonna feel the same way? Like, oh, they're not worried about me. Well, guess what? I'll take my talents to New Orleans Saints. Woo! Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. And hey, you'll be forty thousand dollars a day broker. So yeah. if, if it means that much to you, <laughs> if it means that much to you, and I'm not advocating that we don't get Julio, because like the GM or owner said, you want him to be a Falcon for life, and a talent like that, you want him to stay on your team, you want him to be there for you, yeah. and it just sucks that we're in this situation, and I hope I hope we can get it all resolved. All right. Maybe just get some side incentive deals, score a couple more touchdowns, there you get go. a little bit more money, a lot more money. <laughs> Get <laughs> over 100 catches, and I'm not saying he can't play a whole season, there get more go. money that way. It's, it's a happy balance that right. we can find. It's not just give me my money and I'm not or no, I'm not coming. It's a happy balance, as it is in life. Gotcha. Well, before we wrap up, there's a similar question. Is Julio, is Julio Jones playing and start of week one this year? My heart is telling me yes, but. But his body, <laughs> his body. But my mind is like, <laughs> if you was that guy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If, if, I, I'm not uh, if I'm, those forty thousand dollars add up, I'm just, it, I don't care does. who you are. It does. It's gonna add up. He's gonna, he's gonna play. I think he's gonna play. It's gonna be. Uh, he's, he's gotta play. He's gotta play. I mean, I'm sorry. I've seen, Even to show other I've, teams that he might yeah. want to go to. That well, I've hey, seen I'm still guys here. in worse situations talk that rah rah stuff and then cave in and say, you know, all right, all right, I play my money now. Let me go ahead and play. Yeah. Let me come back to practice. Yeah. So uh, the bottom line good. is the bottom line. Yeah. So, uh, Julio Jones, get your butt back out there, man. And, uh, can't wait to see it. Cause we want, we that, want you here. Yeah, we, we want to be. We want to beat the Falcons in full force. You know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, want, we don't want no excuses at all. <laughs> uh, and then we got a, a NFC Championship rematch, first game of the seat. Was that the? 
NFC Championship. In a, no, well, a playoff, playoff matchup. Yeah, where goes, it should have been an NFC Championship. <laughs> <laughs> we should have beat them. Oh, so we got a rematch of a playoff game. That's the first game of the season. So Julio, we need you to yeah. we want you in training camp just to show these other guys that this ain't the way leadership go and stuff like that. So show these other guys how it's done. And let's just make it happen, man. Because right. you're going to get paid. we going to extend yep. your contract. It's just... We can't just change up everything just for one guy. Like I keep saying, even though you are that guy, you got to have order. Got to have order. Gotcha. Well, it's been good, man. Hey, this is Uneducated Sports Talk. Check us out on Uneducated Network as well. Check uh, out Uneducated Star Wars Talk as well. That's that right. Be back tomorrow, maybe next day, but it will be back full-fledged in the next couple of days. You heard it, man. Like and subscribe to all that. So for Chris Lambo Lambert, I'm Carlos Clayton. This is Uneducated Sports Talk. All sports fans got no time it is. Stay smart. Stay uneducated. Peace. Go Saints.